Hey folks, it's Ken and the Data Monkey back again for another week of Monkey Shorts. And in this week's episode, we're going to look at filtering in Power Query. So you can see I've got some data here. My first column is called Not Wine, and I'm going to go and set a filter on this one right now. And I'm going to uncheck Wine. And there we go. When I apply that, it looks good. No wine entries. But it's really important when using these filter arrows to check what the formula bar actually wrote. Notice that it did not give me not wine, it gave me equals beer. And those are two very, very different things. What's interesting about this though, if I delete this step and I come over to this column and choose to make a filter for unchecking wine, this one actually does tell me that it's for not equal to wine. So why the difference? And it all comes down to what you actually have for the number of values. In this particular case here, the number of unique entries are equal. So in that case, it says, oh, well, you must want the one that you actually didn't select. Where this one says there's more entries that you didn't select, so therefore I'm going to say not equal to the one that you unchecked. But how do I get this column here to be not equal to wine? Well, the easiest way, which a lot of people don't discover on their own, is that you can actually right click right on this data point and go to text filters, does not equal. And at that point, you'll notice that it's now filtered that first column for not equal to wine. You actually have the ability to do all kinds of filters in these things where the equals does not equal, begins with, doesn't begin with, all kinds of different options here. Now you could certainly also get to these by actually clicking on the drop down arrow and going into text filters equals and setting it up manually, but it's a lot faster to do a quick little right click action. Now, speaking of where you actually need to go into more advanced filters, Here's a case right here. I want to filter this column to not null. Well, there's no null values in it. So there's nothing for me to right click on because there isn't a null to work with. Under the filters, there's no nulls here. So what I have to do at this point is go to text filters and I've got to choose does not equal. And at that point I could say does not equal null and that would work. But what if I also want to say it doesn't equal null, but I want that first column, not wine, to, I don't know, equal wine, for example. I'm going to go to advanced and right inside here, you'll notice my first one, not null is not equal to null is there. In this one, I can select a different column, not wine equals, well, actually, let's say if it's not wine, let's say that it equals beer. That's probably a more logical thing to say. And at this point, when I say, okay, I should have beer entries where the not null is not equal to null. So I've now set up a customized advanced filter that's working across multiple different columns with different rules. So that's pretty much all you need to know about how to work with filters in Power Query. Just watch that formula bar really carefully if you're using those drop downs to make sure that what you got is actually what you expected to get. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the SkillWave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.